I want to read what you said five years hmm. before the collapse. The special privileges granted to Fannie and Freddie have distorted the housing market by allowing them to attract capital that they could not attract under pure market conditions. Like all artificially created bubbles, the boom in housing prices cannot last forever. When housing prices fall, homeowners will experience difficulty as their equity is wiped out. Furthermore, the holders of the mortgage debt will also have a loss. These losses will be greater than they would have otherwise been had government policy not actively encouraged overinvesting in housing. And you go on to oh say because God. so many people will invest in housing, the damage will be catastrophic. These are all people who have failed. Paulson failed, Geithner failed. They were all promoted because they failed, not because they mean? had succeeded. Well, Geithner was one of our nation's top regulators during the entire uh, subprime scandal that I've just described. He took absolutely no effective action. He, took, he gave no warning. He did nothing in response to the FBI warning that there was an epidemic of fraud. All this pig in the poke stuff happened under him. To me, what is disturbing is those individuals who did not predict what was to come are now predicting that the, uh, that the downturn has, has ended. It's over. At the end of the year, we're going to have growth. They're still listening to, to the Bernankes uh, of the world. And yet, they were completely wrong before. Greenspan was wrong. Bernanke was wrong. But all of a sudden, oh, I know, the end has come. Are you saying that Timothy Gottner, the Secretary of the Treasury, and others in the administration with the banks are engaged in a cover-up to keep us from knowing what went wrong? And Absolutely. Who is it? You are. Absolutely. Ron, not only that, the very people that sat in your committee when you told them what was going to happen remained silent. And in fact, some accusing you and other Republicans that were critical of Fannie and Freddie of being racists who hated poor people, those very people that missed all the warning signs were then put in charge of the trillion dollar rescue. When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to rob us of our freedom and destroy our very lives. The Bush administration and now the Obama administration kept secret from us what was being done with AIG. AIG was being used secretly to bail out favored banks like UBS and like Goldman Sachs. Paulson created a recommendation group to tell Treasury what they ought to do with AIG and he put Goldman Sachs on it. And it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, there's really no, or a Libertarian, there's no party line when it comes to understanding what happens to our money. And I just would like a little transparency in that. From there, you're going to see a list of uh, who's behind it, who's not. And those who are not, we need to get on them, get behind it. And those who are, we need to get them a fruit basket. So it's important that we all pick up the phones, that we all get on the internet, that we all do whatever we can to say, hey, we need you to support this bill.